longtime Browns beat reporter, one of the best in the business, rejoins the Rich Eisen show who we saw Mary Kay prior to the Browns win over the Bengals. Uh, Mary Kay Cabot of the Cleveland Plain Dealer, the floor is yours. What can you tell us? Well, you know what? First of all, uh, you know, these were things that, that Johnny was doing all off season leading up to training camp. And I wrote a column back then saying that that he started losing the job with all of his crazy off season partying and that he continued losing it right up until he uh, flipped the bird in, in Washington that time. You know, this is just another sign uh, that perhaps Johnny has uh, other things on his mind besides uh, trying to still uh, beat out Brian Hoyer for this job. And, you know, the Browns have chastised him for this. He put himself in a in a bad situation. It's just not something that the team is going to tolerate. Mary Kay Cabot joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. So what happens now? What do you think happens now? Well, you know what? They're going to gather more information. They're going to find out what happened. Uh, but it, it appears that, you know, that he was there. There was a, there were punches thrown. I don't believe uh, that he threw any. Um, I don't think he was actually involved in the fight itself. A member of his entourage took care of that for him. But uh, you know what? I would imagine if I'm the team, I'm sure that they'll, they'll probably find him for conduct detrimental and, uh, you know, keep sitting him down. I mean, there's been a Johnny package in place. We have not seen him on the field in eight games. Hmm. Mary Kay, thanks for calling in. We'll chat more down the line. Sounds good. Thanks. You bet. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.